This time I'm back shit. I've got three and a half thousand cars to look through. So we better stop talking and get into it. Bloody hell. So it's no secret that I love walking around old wrecking yards looking for that one savable car. Well this episode I'm showing off three and a half thousand cars and I genuinely believe 50% of them are savable and the other 50% are parts cars to save those ones. I couldn't get over how many salvageable not completely rusted out cars there was in one place and, and we're not talking about some hidden away place that no one knows about. This is Flynn's. Flynn's Wrecking Yard in Cooma, it's very well known and it blew me away that there was still so much good stuff there. I don't care what you're into, Ford, Holden, Valiant, two-door Corollas, things like that, stuff that's actually collectible, it's still sitting there, old hot rods, rat rods. But the best bit about this video is everything's for sale. In actual fact, the whole place is for sale, cars included, for just over $2 million. And if you do the maths, that's not a lot per car. And I was given a guide by Wayne that every single vehicle is for sale for between a thousand and four thousand dollars depending on make model how complete it was and of course some of the parts cars you might even get cheaper than that just for rust cuts or whichever so if you want to get into the classic car market without breaking the bank here's your starting point grab a can and get comfy let's go for a walk there was obviously a couple of good valiant bodies here because this is a Val row and there's one, two, three, four, two rows. So there's eight bodies that have been removed, what looks relatively recently. So let's have a look through the valves. Where do these rust out, you valve guys? Where should I be looking? That's better than my one. I have one of those. Oh no I don't, I've got a VE. Look inside the doors. The sill, is the sill rotten? Why is that body still here, you Val boys? Unless there's something on the other side that I can't see, I don't know why that body's still here. Tiny bit in the corner of that one. Oh, black breed, didn't see that coming. Oh, another black breed. There's two salvageable bodies, unless on the other side there's severe damage, but I can't really see. Oh yeah, oh there you go. This one does have a bit of a punch in those two doors. But geez, the rest of that is, is mint. Even if you took the back off it for a rust cut or something, that shouldn't be here. Oh yeah, you can see. See that door's cocked up a bit. There is a bit of damage on that side. So I wonder if this one's the same. Valves were probably the last classics to take off here in Australia. He's got a little hit in the front. It's a VF, the screen's telling me. As if you couldn't make one car out of them. There's a VE ute, that's what I've got, a VE sedan. He's copped a bit of a hit in the nose. I 
I'll get over there for these utes. There's two more valves gone. This was the good valiant section. And again, not rotted out. The seals aren't too bad. Can't really see the floors, but it looks like it's still got a box in it. I'll get the hood up but the box is still there so I dare say the motor's still there. Another little coop. He's got a box, no motor. Little few spots of rust, little bit of cancer in the back of that one but still great parts car. Oh, and there's more right behind me. Another little two-door there. Is that more there? Jeez, it just keeps going. That's an even earlier model. Get a little two-door. And again, not, not right of out, that quarter might be, it's in the ground a little bit. So there's another one there, another one there, so there's one, two, three, four, five little two doors in that model. Little sports coupe and a 30. Oh, there's another one, we'll head up there. This one's a bit rotted, but he's still got a lot of parts in it. You could definitely make one car, absolutely certainly make one car out of this model. There's that many of them here. That one's a bit bashed in the back, but still. More little Corollas. Another KE two-door. Isn't that the sedan? We had one of them. We had a little red one. That episode, oh, I don't know, 18 or 19 or something like that, this is a little automatic. She would have been lightning quick. Another coupe. And again, it's not rusted. It's not perfect, don't get me wrong, but those doors, those doors are usable. That one's probably the same. He's got a bit of damage at the front there. Little bit of cancer over the wheel arch. No box and transmission by the look of it. More two doors. There's two more there. There's another one there. If you are after a Corolla body shell, I reckon by the time, I reckon spend an hour here and you would have picked out a shell and a parts car to put something together. That is incredible. About this little brown fella. He's got a bit of a wolf in that quarter, but I mean, glass is there, panels are there, fumes are there. What's in that back row? A 
panel van. I'm going to stop saying A of anything because there's multiples of everything. Another panel van, another two door Corolla. And then you get into some later model Corollas like 90 stuff. And then some real old ones. Check that one out. We'll get over there. I think I just walked to a beehive. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. God, they just keep going. Look at this little fella. He's got a little bit of a whack in the butt. What's well, still got to be bit, something good on him. Two of gauges. Oh, how about one of them? Never ever seen a console on a Corolla like that. Toyo Glide. The wheel's still sitting there. There you go, I learned something. It's a KE10. Oh, another console. A Dif little bit different. There you are, I can see the flaws in this one. Well, they're not really rotted out. I don't even know what these older models are called. Unless that's the model, uh, T40, maybe. How many do I count? Yeah, that's got to be better than RT40 then. There's another one, another one. That's older again, Jesus. Row 18. See if I can learn a bit on these Corollas, eh? I'll be a pro by the end of it. And this row is the RT40s. Oh, there's a couple of old fair lanes. No motor. These ones are called Marquees, aren't they? Is that how it was pronounced, you fair lane gurus? No badges on them, but I'm pretty sure that's what they were. Might have something on the dash. Oh, can't get that one, no handle. But the dash is all there. The interior is all there as far as seat frames and go. That feeling's got a little bit of cancer through him, but there's still plenty of parts on him. Fairlane 500. Full of parts though. Some more Datsuns. 200B wagon. The GL. Little 1200 coupe. Is that what that is? A 120. What's that one? That's another 120 next to it. More in that row. Go and have a look at that fella. This one's it's this little coupe like. little bit of damage in that quarter but I'd prefer damage than rust with it
still got a little A series in it. I think that's what they're called, aren't they? Your Datsun lads. Uh, that that seal's not too bad. Little maybe a patch panel. You wouldn't go replacing the whole cord, is it's a little bit in that one. I find that astounding how dry most of these cars are. Yeah, this little fella. Little two-door van. Some more twelve hundred doors and a few few cuts there if you needed rust cuts. It's just a little coupe like. He's got a little bit of rust here and there but full of parts. Plenums are good, I don't know if these things rot out in the plenums but they look pretty good to me. Another old Commodore wagon. Can't even get over and see what that is. The back of that looks like some sort of Hillman. I oh, know, it's got something on the back of it. A Tasman. So I think I'm right, I think that's a Hillman, isn't it? Another old Commie. She's got a little hit in that side, but. I think we're getting into Commodore territory, are we? And on this side, you EA, EB, ED fellas, EF. There's more sedans there, more wagons there. Oh, and another row of them down that next row. I'll make my way down this way and around. Some later model Commodores and some older ones tucked back there in the tree. And again, just not rusted out. Which clearly shocks me. I don't know how many times I've said that, but I assumed I'd be feel rusty. There's a row of Commodore wagons. Camira, I thought that was a, from over there, I thought that was a Commodore wagon as well. Full of parts. I should have rang here, not that I knew about it, when I needed that Commodore diff for the blue one. A couple of Sigmas, there's something you don't see every day. And this would be what the maybe north eastern corner. <laughs> More Sigmas. Like a, a that's a late one with the the bubble roof, I only know that because my family had one as a kid. I can't get over how organised this yard is. A lot of falcons all in the one area. And then a gap. And then we're moving into a row of Nissan Pulsars. And then you come down this side. XF, XE, XD, XE. Even a, an AU thrown in there. Old LTD, maybe, Fairlane, or some description. Uh, doesn't shock me. I reckon I could get another handle here though. That one's gonna come. Nah, it beat me. Panel van. I'll come back that way. I'll go up around there and then back to this. There's another panel van in there. Some of these are getting consumed by blackberries. But haven't looked at some of the stuff around here. Wouldn't be surprised if you dragged it out and it's not that bad for rust. XF. Another blackberry. I know XE. XD. Flat edge bonnet. He's got a little bit of a hit in the front there, but still got stuff. Good screen. And we had our P1 
pulsars down that side. More pulsars in the back. Corona wagon. Another one. It's a Corona sedan. Corona. We also had some of them as kids. I don't really remember it. My, my parents told me about a, a beigey coloured Corona we had. We also had a dark blue one. How about a Mitsubishi Scorpion? She's a bit, bit beaten and she's a bit bashed up, but if you need bits, this is where you're ringing. I think it is. What is that? It's not, that's a toy, that's a two-door Toyota. I don't even know what that is. Is that a two-door Corona? More Falcons. I'll have a closer look at the sills and that on some of these XDs and XEs. Something just moved in there, so I'm not going down there. I'll go down this side. I tell you what, that's a little bit there, but. rows of XDs down that back there. What are those little fellas? A couple of them are fairly bashed and beat. Is that a Mazda? That one? Little Nissan. Oh, that might be what that other one was. That other one wasn't a Corolla or a Scorpion. It's a Nissan something or other. Two door. Oh, there are 1,500. There's two of them. There and there. Well, there's not. There's more. Awesome patina. Look at back in that row of falcons. Oh, one little hole there. Come on. Standard. I tell that one had been open because the burr was wedged in it. It's relatively in one piece. I might shut that door. That thing's not that bad. Get a new bonnet. Look at these tailgates. I bet XC is worse than that. There's another one. Not a spot of rust along the bottom of it. Good trims. I found it impossible to get a rubber when I needed one for our XC wagon. Little bit of rust in the bottom of that one, and that one I guess would be a good parts car more than anything, but. Four wagons in a row, a couple over the side there. Well, that one's had a bit of a hit, but again, lots and lots of bits. I sort of wish I lived about where that boundary fence is. I drag one out a week. Come on, one of these XDs has got to be mint. My uncle had a green XD, that colour. The sills are right, got a couple little holes in the roof. Again, 
blows my mind. There's just rows and rows and rows of them. These ones are returning back to the blackberries. I'll be pretty keen to drag some of them out and see what the sills are like. The old van, I wonder what the van's like. A little bit of cancer just around the wheel arch there, but again, the drip rails are not rusted out, and that's the thing with those vans, finding one that's just not rusty in the roof right the way along. Gotta stop doing that with these blackberries. Water's not too bad. The seal's got a little bit of rust in, but still not too bad. What's that? It's an old Chevy, like a 52 or something. Yeah, Chevrolet. Another old body. FB or an EKU. Don't open. Okay. Need some bits off one of them. I've got one of them coming up. We've got a sedan and a ute of that one coming up. EJ. I've seen worse sills than that. And I've seen enough doors laying around here. You come with two trailers, you could make a complete patina car very, very easily here. Here's one model I don't have. We'll go and take a look at it. So here's a random one. But that EH wagon is not that bad. It's got a little hit in the front, so you'd have to take the front subframe off it and replace that. But those sills are not rotted out. It needs floors. There's a little bit in that dog leg. And I'm sure there's some hidden somewhere, but... It's just not that bad. I don't even know what that is. Is that a Chevy? It's next to that other Chevy, so I'm going to say it is. We'll head down this way. This is the one I don't have. I'd like to get one of these models, GT or K. I'm, I have no real preference, so that'd be right. And this is the rustiest one I found. Still not that bad though. Big dent in the roof and that dog leg and seals a little bit sus, but that's kind of crap. Dash parts, hubcaps, seats, FE or FC, one of those. And it's funny, some of the ones that are damaged are actually better in the sills and, and for rust because clearly they've come here as an accident, not as a rusted out unfinished project or anything like that. Those doors are a bit, a bit sad, but those sills look okay. Oh, I can't really see there, maybe there's some holes there. But... What early Holden's missing diffs? Did everyone have the same issue I had? Kept smashing small diffs when you start working on six cylinders? Maybe.
take a look around some of these Commodores. He's got a little couple of bubbles in that sill. But these are generally rotted around the window if they're no good. She's missing a few dash parts, but still a good starting point. <coughs> And I guarantee you there'll be enough parts in some of these guys if they're not as good. Some of these cars you probably need a a parts car as I said, a few interior bits missing, but if you're willing to grab two cars, a lot of these are not rutted out. Seals are good, full of bits. Windscreen areas are good. Come on you Commodore guys, none of these are rotten. None of them. If you've got a rotten one, you've got all the interior parts, there's your bodies. They rot out there in the plenums. Okay, so that car is a V8 manual car. It says so on the screen. It's not rotten. That all of these Commodores look savable. And like I said, if you've got a rotten one with a few dash bits and whatever. Tiniest bit there in the quarter. None of these have got bad rear windscreens in them. Perfect in the quarter. A little silk. Little tiny bit there. V8 manual car. What model is that? VH, I think. Oh yeah, of course it is. It says on the windscreen. VC. Little bit of dent up that side. Yeah, better keep moving. I'm not 100% sure what that is. But I think we're heading into some cool cars. That is one cool looking car. A little bit smaller than the 36. I, I think that's like a... Pilot or something. No, Pilot had a spare wheel on the back. There's another one heavily damaged. Oh no, he's a little bit different. He's, the back end of him's different. Maybe the same car in a different year. Have a go at some of these hot rod bodies. What the... A Vanguard Standard? I don't think I've ever seen one before. And oh look, there's another. Bloody hell. Well, I think that's another. Is that another Vanguard? Keep walking back past this one. I'm not sure why.
I don't even know what some of these are. But that is enormous, whatever that is. Looks like an old Ford. This thing, like an old delivery van of some description. There's still glass in some of these as well. Like they're not all absolute wrecks. Little two-door. Is it two-door? Oh no, it's a four-door. Morris 1000. Some of them. The blackberries are a bit thick to get in there, but I mean, a lot of them still with doors and Some of this steel must be awful thick because it's not rotted out like some of the more modern stuff that's here. Another Chevy. Look at this thing. Another cool looking one there, I don't even know what it is. It's hard to get a look at them because they're so, so sort of wedged in. But that to me screaming old Ford, I don't know if I'm right or not, but it's hard when they're so, so pulled apart. But to me that looks like an old Ford grill in one piece. Here we go, look on the roof, 34, 35 Ford. Oh, it's got a flathead in it too. Makes me sort of think those other ones are Fords. They're really round around the window. Well, there's that 3435 and there's that other one a lot of similarities and this just confused me a bit more 3435 olds looking very similar And then something else in there looking awful cool. That is cool too. Clearly I've got a hankering for an old hot rod. Wild 15. Dead set. You hot rod guys. And rat rod guys, where are you? There's so much here. And I know there's some stuff like this, but there's some stuff like that too. Get a go at that. Look at the patina on that. And the bottom of the door, it's got 50 mil you'd need to repair on it. Utes, delivery vans, although a little bit dented that one, but there's some two-door Tiranas. 
I keep coming back to that too. I don't even know what that is. God, it looks cool. And these guys with the two round windows. Little we'll LC. Oh, come on, guys, look at that. Little bit in that quarter. I'm sure there's more on the other side, but I've saved worse than that. I probably haven't saved worse than that, though. You never know. HB. Quarter panels on they might be alright. Anyone need some HB quarter panels? There's your donor. It's another donor. He's a little bit far gone under that wheel arch, but there's still a lot there. One's still got little buckets in it. If you were looking for a set of them, you'd never find them. Nah, it's not a set in there, but whatever. I think we're moving into Zephyr country now. Starting there. Again, damaged. But some of the damaged ones aren't that rusty. They probably brought here as fairly clean cars. And from what I'm told, this is a fairly dry climate, although being in Cooma, you'd think it'd be snowy, but they said very little rainfall. Like, take, take a look at those doors, for instance. They are not rotted out. Trims, I don't know, flat on one side, but only one side. What's this big girl? I'd say this one's a wombat's home. I'm sort of glad he's not home. Plymouth. And some truck front ends. I've got to start looking for more of that. That's a 39 Chevy, because it says it. But stuff like that, I'm not good enough to be able to identify that, but there's a lot of whatever that is. In both that one-piece window and rear window, and two-piece. That one's even still got glass in it. So I reckon if you found a body here to, to rat rod, you'd be able to find all the glass you needed. There's another split rear window one. Oh, that might be a bit different. I thought I found a two-door Morris earlier. It was four-door, but that's definitely two-door. Again, look at this thing. Perfect patina. Rat rod heaven. And there's your glass. See what I mean about these two? They must be similar model. Two split windows. Well, a split into two window. And that almost looks like the same car. I'd be interesting to find a model. Come on, do the work, Michael. Have a look. Help me out here, people. It's got to be written somewhere. Hold an S. There you go. Model Olds 6. So that one way down there that said it was a 35, 36 holes. I wonder if that's the same thing. Suicide doors on the rear. Glass in the front. 
And it's that little fella. They just keep coming. That's another cool little shape. That's a smaller car though, what's that? It doesn't have suicide doors, so it's not the same shape. It's the same as that one I just walked past, I think. Another little Mori. I wish I was a bit better with my 30 stuff so I could just say, well, that's that, and that's that. No, that's that's nothing like the 30s thing. But you know what I mean? I wish I could just say, that's that, that's that. That tree got that one. But look, didn't even bust the glass on that one. Other than the dent in the roof, I don't think she broke. Ah, oh, crack the screen. Sun crust bread. And then another one of those models, I don't know what it is. delivery van with streets ice cream that's as cool as you're ever going to see it's just a little bit messed up in the front This little fella. It's got Colt written on the steering wheel. I don't think I've ever seen one of them before. And guess what? Just for a change, there's two of them. That looks a little bit later, that one. Heading towards into the 40s, aren't they, when they started getting that round the back. That one's damaged as well, so it's probably not rusted out. Here's some ones I'm familiar with, very familiar with. That's an EH. EJ and EH, the difference, easy to tell just from a body, if you, even if you can't see the quarters or it's a ute, which have the same quarters. Two piece plenum. EJ, EH. And yes, I'm going to check out the sills on this because I want a little ute. Adding the floors. Another EJ there. EJ 
anyone need a turret cut? Look at that. There's not a pinhole in the top of that turret. Floor's a shot as always. little bit there just behind that tree bush tree that's not a tree that how's his roof that's while i'm thinking of it same whoop something missing from that side But there is EJ, EJ, EH, EH, EJ, all the way down. That is a very familiar roof. You EJ, EH guys, what do you need? Ah, oh, I needed that last week for Tomo. Put high and low for a bar. That's a HQ bar. See, these sort of things look gone, but, but if the seals aren't too bad, are they really gone? Let's get a little bit of hole there. Oh yeah, he's got some. And I keep looking at the seals because it's a good indication if the drip rails and the seals are good. They're pretty much savable because old Holdens you can get floor pans very cheaply. Unlike old Valiance. There was obviously one that was pretty good. He's gone. And all that would be is taking the time to walk around and find one. So now that you can see the sill on that, look at that quarter panel. Cut little holes in, wheel arch is good. Sill panels, that's good actually. The door isn't blistered. Come on girl. The door's not rotted. <coughs> Needs one door. I guarantee you could find one. You could, you could literally leave with all the parts you need if you just took the time to be here. Accident damage, so probably not rusty. Good boot lid on the EJ. Anyway, I'll keep going systematically and I'll come back to that guy. Nah, bugger it. I'll have a look now because I won't keep in suspense. What are the seals like? Dented. That door's shot, but... A little couple of bubbles around the dog leg there. EH but look good drip rails and I've got to tell you knocking the turret off one of them sounds hard it's not I cannot get over the lack of rust in the upper halves of these cars I can't get over the lack of rust in the lower halves of these cars too but some of them obviously are pretty, pretty rusty in the floors. It's the only place I've harboured moisture. Killer patina. EH bonnet. Needed one of them. And they're full of parts. You could do a patina car using door trims handles, all the glass. Oh, look at this one. Ouch.
These seals, I'm not going to show you. Because they're shot. How did I miss them? I've snuck up on some cues. They started way back there. I was too busy concentrating on this row. going on there I'll tell you what's going on there freaking blackberry that's what's going on there but the quarter's a little bit shit I'll tell you what mm. it's got a bit of something going on with that dog leg and that quarter's got a bit of rust in it That plenum isn't rotted out. I need a set of window trims for Tomo. Gem engine, bound to run. You're rust in the back there. A little crease there. That HQ, that HQ right there is savable. A little bit in the back of the quarters, a little bit in the, uh, sorry, a little bit in the bottom of the sill, a little bit in the back of the quarter. That's no worse than mucus. Oh, I didn't look at the doors. Doors are a bit, yeah, and that's probably better than mucus, that door. And she's almost complete in the dash. So if you haven't been here before, this is the HQ that I call Mucus. And I'm dead serious, that is every bit as good as this car. I'm not saying this one's great. But if you remember at the start of the video, I was given a guide of $1,000 to $4,000. Well, that HQ will be the upper end of that scale, but a not rotted out HQ for $4,000. And I did give a twist on the motor on that one. Um, it has been sitting with no carburetor and no bonnet, so it was locked up, but you can swap a motor in a weekend, but sills are not rotted out, plenums weren't rotted out. That car is very savable. Anyway, let's keep walking. She's seen better days, that Zed. Is it a Zed? Jay, geez, I'm on fire today. That's as good as mucus, which is not great. But anyway, that's good. Oh van, I wonder what this old van's like. Oh, she's, she's all chopped up. I'm gonna go back up this way because I kind of missed, I got excited and missed this row. What about these two? Oh, that's why I missed the row. I looked down it from that end and I didn't see these two utes. Going straight to the sills. This door obviously opens, it's wedged full of bars. Auto too. She's a late queue by looking at that. That, um, oh, unless somebody's put that tape on it.
Be bent in the front. Come on, don't be rusty. Be good to me. What about you? Oop. Stop it. Not so great. He's a bit later. With the indicator stalk up there, there's tail lights in her, there's all sorts of shit in her. 253k. Oh, oh that's, that's why the tyre was against it. The rest of that seal's not too bad. She might have a little in the front rail there, but she's a bit cancerous on this side. If you see what I see. Love the patina in this one. Not so much the roof. I'll guarantee you though that car came here like that because that's not consistent with some of this stuff that's been here for 40 years to be rusted like that. Mate, oh that had a vinyl roof. You can see the, the seams of it. That's why that's rusted out so bad. Perfect patina. Prim. With another front end sitting there ready for it. She's hitting the door. She's damaged in the doors. Oh, she's got a little bit around the tail as well. And a series of wagons. There's four, four QE slash H series. Oh no, they're all QEs. An EK. And they just get older going this way. There's an old van, a panel van. FB, EK panel van. I'll get over in there and take a look at that. Irrespective of whether this one's good or bad, this is worth saving because you just can't find it. Even if it meant buying two cars. Yeah, she's got a little bit of silk cancer. It's just there. A little bit there. I'm telling you now, that thing is worth saving. Even if you had to put a couple of seals in it. Same on this side. A few bubbles in the seals. But look at the roof. Oh, one little hole there. Oh, that's where the cross brace is. There's another one there. That's perfect.
even if that meant chasing around through one of these other cars and finding all the other parts and buying two cars towing two home that's worth saving I don't think it'd matter if you're into old Falcons or old Holdens if you brought that mentality down here that you might have to tow two home on two trailers you could build a car here without any trouble at all So there's a better nose cone for that old gold one. Actually there was an old nose cone sitting in front of one of those prams. Oh, she's got sill moulds on her. So I can't really see the sills on it. But I can tell you the doors are pretty clean. Is this a prem? What's that say? Isn't that the trend thing? That's a Z. It's got the wrong front on it. There's another Z. And another. And another Q. And another Q. Holy crap. Got my work cut out for me today. Yeah, that's a QE front that's been put on a, I don't know, Z or X Prem. So I can't really see the seals on that one. I think that one, mm, maybe not so much. I'm on a mission of checking sills today. I'm probably getting bitten by something. See that car's sills. Well, that body's sills on this side are okay. Oh, it's got a little bit up there. I missed that. I went straight to the sill. There's this old brown one. She's probably rotted out in the roof. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Shazzy. Vinyl tops. Oh, bloody seal moulds. Sixty four. Oh no, sorry, six thousand four hundred and eighty four. So she's probably been around twice, but I can't get a look at the sill moulds on that one. Oh, the ute there's been dropped on the tree. That old bell ute's a little bit knocked around, but. Again, you could make one out of the two. A little bit of rust in this fella. Oh, I haven't seen one of them forever. That's like an AP5 or 6 Safari, I think they called their wagons. This one looks like she was started as a project. She's got pretty good panels hanging off it. Maybe it had a hit there and needed a couple of panels, but all the glass is still there. I think that's a VC. You get a little bit of cancer here and there. There's another safari wagon. Yeah, I did think they called them safari. That's like a, that's an AP5 wagon. I was certain that's what they called them. I should know how to open this damn bonnet, shouldn't I? 
Yeah, AP5 wagon with a slant. They're called a safari. So there's two of them. I don't even think I've seen one of them in the flesh. And there's two of them here. Oh, three. I think that's a six, isn't it, with a slightly different guard? AP6. Grass is getting a bit longer. Let's have a go. This VE. Just as I suspected. That's still, oh, it's got one hole in it there. But I think you're getting my point. If you wanted a relatively good Valiant body, these are all pretty good. Another AP5. Glass all through him. I like AP5s, I have one. Couple of centurions. What's that? An old Plymouth or something. You American guys will tell me what this is. This has got America written all over it. Tell me what that is. Old Falcon. This is where we're bound to see some rust. These things rotted out pretty bad. Yeah, the sill's pretty bad on that one. But still trims, glass, rear bar. That's an XR or an XT. It's an XT. XR had a round tail light. That one's got the band through the back. XW or Y Ute. Good little Windsor in her. So that's going to be an early, like an XW or, or that, um, because it's a Windsor V8. Although I wonder if the XY wagon's got a Windsor too. I don't know. Can't tell you. Another one. Another wagon. Still chrome on it. Still doors on it. Glass in it. Falcon sedan. The blackberries are sort of stopping me a little bit on these ones. And they just keep going. And there's another row up that side, so I'll jump on that side. A couple of X C wagons there. I don't know what that trim hole hides, but it's not too bad other than that. got a little bit of accident damage on it another XC ah you AU boys there's rows of AUs old pano I've got a worse XP than that. That still isn't too bad. I'm sure you'd find a better door for the front there.
Old Fair Lane. Austin. Two Austins. Nature's taking them. But that'll be the sort of thing. Somebody, there's a steering wheel in there. So sort of thing somebody would want parts for and just can't get anyway. That cool old thing. We must be heading into Holden Corner. A couple of HR HDs. The bit that shocks me is that a lot still with glass. You think being so open you might have vandals or something like that, but look at the patina on this thing. If I can get in and have a look how bad the sills are, these are the sort of ones you might find a good gem in them. So I just run my hand down that sill, quarter, that sill and quarter, and there's nothing hanging out of them. That tailgate's got a little bit in each corner. Please open. Oh, he's got a little bit inside the door, but that sill isn't rotted. What all these floors are like? Yeah, a little couple of holes in the floors, but they're cheap and they're easy to put in. It's when the gutters and that aren't rusted out. That's when you're winning. If nothing else, it'd be a, an awesome donor car. Another one. That one's sills are in the dirt, so I can't imagine that'd be real great. But look at the bits, bars, steering boxes, quarter windows. There's more out the back there. Got a full interior in it. Endless HDs, HRs. There's an EH or J. EH. HGT or K, I don't know, I can't see from here. HQ front end. Blackbee's got me again. Wonder if I come back with black all over me down here eating his blackberries. Just keeps going. Some of these I don't even know what they are. Crown Deluxe. So there's one, two, three, four crowns there. Is that another one, just different model? Oh no, same, same front. A lot of them with glass. Another one, I think. Crown wagons. A 2M, that's a six cylinder. That would have went like, would have went like hell. A little six cylinder in a wagon that big. And there's heaps of them. A couple of stouts. 
I like them. My uncle had one. Column shift four speed. And I don't mind them for hot rod chassis either. This, oh, that one's missing. But they've got leaf springs at the front for I-beam axles. If you see, I don't know if you can see that, but they've got an I-beam axle and leaf spring. So they make for a real nice cheap hot rod chassis. Sure you've got to get creative with six stud wheels or whatever or figure out some other brakes. But they're a full chassis, fairly strong little diff. There's a couple of bodies in there. But there's two chassis there at least, one with an axle. There's another cab. Mark II Coronas. I love how everything's itemized. It's all in the one spot. So you don't find one, you find a couple. Oh, they just keep going. There's one, two, three, four, five, six that I can see there in a row. Actually, I went up that other row. There's a row of cars in the middle there that I can't get at. That's a two-door something or other. Looks like there's half a track in here, so I'll give it a crack. Oh, that was easy. What's that? Damaged. But I guarantee you could... Knock the skirts off that one as a two door body. Wang on, don't need to. There's another one. That one's got a factory sunroof, but look at that. Somebody's walked down here, so it's good enough for me. Looks like a little KE panel van hidden there in the grass, almost hidden. Another old commie. Perfect patina. But again, look, not rotted out. Around the windows, okay. What are you doing here? It has to be damaged. Oh, there you go. It's got a little bit in the front. But has it got an interior? It's fairly complete. Camiras. Most underrated car ever. And yes, I am lying. There's heaps of them. Pretty sure they drove out of the showroom and they brought them straight here. You know if you've been here before, I really like these little fellas. We had one a fair while back. And mine was pretty dry and rust free. He's got a bit of a dent there. That's probably better than mine was in the quarter. The floor's a little bit sad in that one. But still, a few dents and bits and pieces. And that actually doesn't look that bad. I can only feel the sill on that sedan. What I can feel the sill on that sedan, it's not full of holes. And just look around the engine bay, it's just no paint left, but it's just dry. And the windscreens. Wag. 
wagon with all the glass in one side missing one door the hard bit is you can't really get up the side of some of these these would be really really good if you could drag one out and have a look at the sill on it another wagon I might be able to get down the side of this wagon Rear V bar Oh, a little bit there and there and there's another row of old falcons there hey dead set oh and more going that way I'll go that way I think I'm getting lost Good doors, good glass. A row of lasers. But behind that, XL wagons. Look at this thing. I'm guessing by that trim and that fin that it's a Chrysler but I'm not super familiar with these either yeah that's all oh, there's a dead giveaway it's got Chrysler across the bonnet but check out this tell me that isn't the coolest thing on the planet This is where we store our seats. That one's got Corolla written on it. Good seats by the look of it. Another Chrysler. Again, you can tell because it's written there. Old, that's old Holden seat if ever I saw one. Another Chrysler. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, that's got the same pillar, so that's going to be similar, just with a different quarter. Similar model. But that's as cool as hell. Matching little pickup as well. I know I'm going to keep saying it, but they're pretty dry. That's all the right. That I can see around this thing. I'm sure the floors are shot. Okay. Now I'm not so sure. They're actually pretty good. Tell me that wouldn't make the coolest hot rod. That would make the coolest little rat rod or hot rod pickup. Oh, and then another one right next to it. Oh, that's been cut. I thought that was another pickup, but that actually looks like it's been chopped off. It's a Dodge something. Oh, it's probably the same as that, is it? Must be heading into the 40s and 50s here, I'd say. There's a 60. Oh no, I was going to say a 60 old Holden, but it's not. It's like a, it'll be a Chevy then, because they shared a lot of styling cues. Kind of look 
like an EK front guard and the EK front of the door is very similar. That's a 40, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. That's right, this is the new section. Again though, look at the panels. Still got a lot of glass. The remnants of an old flathead in it. See the valves just sticking up there. If you're an old hot rod or rat rod or patina truck guy and you've got one this is where you're going to find your glass except if it's that one of course even old holding glass there's a passenger door there that's whole thing's been broken except that one set of glass fj and there you're talking Not a spot of rust in that door. A little bit there. A little bit just there on the sill. Boots are up. Look at that door. God. <laughs> Old grey still in there. Come on, don't be damaged. Oh, somebody's taking a quarter. But it's bolted off, not bashed in. Those two trails are mint. That's a pretty good shell. I'm sure there's a lot more than I've seen. Down there in that long grass, you just can't get down beside them. If you had time and you're really after something, you get them all dragged out. I guarantee you there's ones down there are going to be no different to the ones on the hill. I don't really know what year model that is, but I'm going to say it's in the 40s. That still would be good enough to patina without doing any rust repairs. I would hate to see better days. Geez, these things must have tough glass. That's another one that looks like it's had something sat on it. She's still in one piece. Trims. What am I next to? What's that? Another 40s Ford or something. Is that a Cusso? Another one. Look at the bars. Complete bar. Ready to roll. your rat rod just trims you can't find 
all in the right place. A row of old DK, FB. Oh, I need door trims for one of these. Seats are right, more glass. Body trims everywhere. I don't care if you're early Ford, early Holden, this is where you need to be ringing. Is that a little prefect? That would make the coolest little hot rod. Still got its running boards. That's what's in those trees. That's the same grill badge. That's what's up. That's what's up there. How cool is that? That's strut front ends. These must have been a common little car. There's, there's rows of. There's tons of them all the way down there. These little Zephyrs must have been really, really common. Is it a Zephyr? That's what that says, isn't it? Don't know. They must have been really common little cars. Same grill all the way down there. Well, till you get to the bum end of them, but same car. It's almost overwhelming. You want to walk out with something. I'm, I'm thinking hot rod, rat rod. You just don't know where to start. Just more zephyrs. Thinking of restoring a car? Come grab a zephyr. It's another falcon just wedged in with the zephyrs. Well, he's seen better days, that one. Old Cusso or something like that. I think from the taillight. That's what it is. I don't know what I said from the tail light, there's no tail light there, but you know what I mean, from the shape of the quarter panel. It's an old AP5 snuck in. There was actually one back there as well snuck in amongst all the main lines. What's that thing? Hot rod anyone? Bloody hell. Hang on. Get back over there. The hell's the BA sneaking in? The Soto? I don't even think I've seen one of these in the... Mate, I don't even think I've seen one of these before.
Bloody hell. And there's me van. We're, oh, we're back to there. Hang on. What have I missed? I must have a hot rod thing in my head because there's so many little cool cars. I've just got a little bit of a bend up the front. It's another one. They must be prefects though because they're quite small. It's not like they're a full size 36 or something. Or 35 Ford. Yeah, these are quite small. That must be a prefect. Another one there. Oh, here you go. I only knew that because my uncle had one of them. I kind of recognise the body shape. Like a miniature Ford hot rod. Another old Falcon Ute creeping in there, or if you're from the States, so was similar to a Ranchero. Rochero? What are you talking about, idiot? Righto. What do you reckon? Rotted sills or good sills? I can't get to the sill, but if that door's anything to go by. Oop. Oops, sorry about that. Can't really see that floor, but that looks like it's got the drain plug out of it, so it's a good sign. FB. Another FB or EK. Looks like we've got another heap of Holdens running up this way. So we'll walk up that one around that row 10. FC wagon. Again, it's hard to get in beside these ones in the long grass and see what their sills are like. Oh, that one's door's pretty shot. FJ body. After Zephyr parts, I don't care what you model, it's going to be here. I don't know if there's any of them left on the road, they're all here. FJs, anyone? Two, it's actually another one there. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One upside down, one behind me, and don't forget that good one we found up there. And there's more up past those trees. I'm at the top of the row of FJs and FXs. You tell the FX because she's got a straighter grill than the J. And I reckon there is 40 of them there. A lot of the shells are a bit dented and battered and bruised. But if you remember, we found a good one back over in those trees just missing a quarter panel. Well, there's a yellow one just down here with panels in it. There's good bonnets. There's windscreens. You could literally come here, 
Get everything you need for one good body shell and leave. Probably take the weekend to do it, but it'll be totally worth it. Look at that, still got all the glass through the doors. Look at the patina on this thing. That sill's got a dent there. The door's a bit thin. Sorry about that big dent. That'll buff out. That's got hot rod written all over it. There's another one. It just doesn't stop. That one's not so great. She's got a bit of a redneck repair on her there. Full of parts, diffs, diff housings. And there's, there's three deep in this section here, so there's probably more than 40. Another ute, I'd love to be able to get a look at those sill panels on that ute. That's an earlier one, that's like a, I can't even tell, that's an F, FB or FB, FX's, you can tell by that, that grill. Anyone need a grill for their rat rod? Anyone want a grill for their shed wall? Everything is still here and everything is for sale. Oh this one's not so great, but check out the check out the roll bar. She's seen better days. Chevy, I don't know because it's written on it. And some of these little cars, I don't even know what they are. What is that? You'd have to assume it's a rear engine something. What is that? Yeah, look at the air cool vents in the rear. So like a Renault or something. And that's kind of cool. So is that, but I'll come down that, that alley there in a second. Vanguard, a Vanguard standard. Oh well, I know what that is now. It's a Vanguard standard. Get a go with this patina, fair dinkum. I cannot get over it. Old paint was so much better back when there was lead in it. Suicide front door and works. Again, I don't even know what that is. I 
I know what that is. It says Simca. I've heard of them. I've never even seen one. And there's another one. Actually, I'll take a punt and say I can guess what that is because see where I was standing there, there's one missing. Well, as we came in the front gate, there was a chap loading up a hillman. I'm not telling, I'm asking, is that a hillman of some description? Because they tend to put him in rows. Maybe it's a Morris, that's a Morris Oxford. Maybe this is the Morris row and it just had a hillman in the middle. Are you shitting me? A Skoda. Still got a, a motor in it. Again, that's a hillman. That looks like a mini sort of a 35 Ford shape hot rod thing. Okay, so I must be thinking hot rods and rat rods today because this thing is probably my pick for the day maybe not the most collectible thing I think that's another Hummer that we saw down there but this thing is barely rusty the doors are good the sills are good the quarters are good I can't open the door I, I know I can open that far door but everything's there Except the back window, but the one on the other side of that tree's got a window in it. And it's just got that little hot rod or rat rod sort of look, cutting the guards, widening them out. Look at the doors. That's it. Look at the sill. What are you doing here, sweetheart? Look at that. I'm gonna have to go and have a look at the other one. I've gotta go back down this row and just make sure that's the same car. I think I'm in the wrong row. I thought it was just here behind that tree. There it is there. 
I'm in the wrong row. No, that's not it, because that's, that's, what's that say? That says Vauxhall. Looks similar in the back. Must be up there a bit. The one that had Hummer across the front. There's another one, I think. And there's another one. And there's another one. I've missed all this row. That's that's three of them right there. No, they're not. They're voxels too. They're a different grill. They're, they're a voxel too. I'm sure the other one said Hummer. There it is. Is that the same car? The Hillman? Try and picture that grill. Has it got a back window in it? It does. I wonder if that one's equally as good though. I reckon that's it. That narrow section down the grill and just a little bit different there and there. I could picture that with some three inches put into those rear guards. An I-beam axle out of one of those stouts under the front. I better keep moving, we're starting to run out of daylight. Check out this thing. Little delivery van. Oh God, it just doesn't end. What is this? Uh, tell me what that is. Oh, here you go. Shear line? Is that what that is? Never even heard of it, let alone seen one. It's got all its glass in it. Well, most of its glass in it. Never even seen one. Never heard of one. Here we go. That's exactly the car I was looking at before. There's another one of those Hillmans with another one next to it. With a rear window. That's got a different back. That back's probably cooler. There's another one up there. Take that back, there's another two. Ah, broken window. Well, that one's even got a flathead in it. That's a little bit different than the grill must be earlier, but that's the same. Same grill, so that's what it is. It's a Hillman. That one's a little bit flat in the roof, but still cool. I'm starting to get intrigued by all these grill badges. That one. And that's the same vehicle, but that doesn't mean I know what it is. <laughs> I'm starting to know what they are. That would have to be the seventh one of them, because there's another one there, and another one there. They would make the coolest little rat rods. Like, look at the patina on some of these cars. That's a Morris. I would give my left appendage to find patina on an old Holden like that. Here's another Yank tank, I think. I don't know what that badge is telling me, but there's a fair bit of trim in there. A little bit parted out though. I'll see if I can figure out what it is. Nope, I give up. I know what this one is though. And she's pretty dry.
73 HQ. I'll have a look around the panels a bit closer on this one because this would be the sort of thing if it's not rotted in the body. Oh, little bit of rot. Little bit back there too. I've seen worse though because the drip rails are really good. You could do a little bit of a dog leg repair on the bottom of that sill. That bottom of that sill. Something's biting me for certain. I'm a little bit in that plenum. But if you had a really, really rusty HQ, there's a pretty good body. I know I've already said it, but I don't even know what some of these are. That was a rover. Why? Because it says so. Fifty fifty two Ford F one F six cabs, two of them. I'm having to hurry now because we're just about to run out of daylight, and I'll probably want to close. More old prefects. Old school bus. Oh, check that out, you hot rod guys, what the, what in the God's name is that? Unfortunately she's a bit rotted on that side.
Beetle Salika. That's like a one of those funky Mustang tail lighted Salikas. I think. Fastback. Another row of Holdens. Awesome patina. Going for the sill check. No, oh. oh, the quarter's not that great, but the sill's all right. Same with that one. Bit knocked around, but the sills are okay. But those two bodies aren't too bad. Like if you want a patina truck, I'm saying they're dented, they're knocked about. But if you're happy just to do a few rust repairs and get it running and driving, that would be one hell of a patina ute. Got a little Salika body. Is that a little bit of rust or is she pretty good? Ah, uh, it's got a little rust pair, a uh, repair patch already in it, but it's not great. Still saveable though. It's actually after close time now, but Wayne's been good enough to show me another row up the front. And these all look like 50s. There's some cool stuff down here. Oh my god, it keeps going and going. Even one for you Skyline guys. That's not so bad. What is that? I'm telling you, there's your hot rods right there. Old Casso, is it? With a single spinner? I don't even know what that is. It's super. There's something you don't see. A Val R or an S. Still got glass in it, got killer patina on it. Put a few holes through. Okay, so I know this one doesn't look very complete, but have a look at this. Look at that sill panel. Don't worry about that prickly thing there, but look at that sill. That's better than mucus's sill. Tiny bit there, tiny bit there. A little bit in the quarter. It's a, probably a J or an X, is it? 
and that's a 77 H oh, I can't see it Seventy-seven X, seventy-seven, yeah, seventy-seven X. Tiny bit in the sill there. Other than that, the door's a bit shit, but hanging panels are easy to find. Not rusted out plenums, not rusted out roofs, are not easy to find. HX, just not rotted out. Not perfect, but not rotted out. And this one too. Those sills are not rotted out. Rotted, you idiot. Speak. It's been a long day. Plenums are not rotted. They're worthwhile. Does the ute. The ute's a little bit knocked around. Say same about that one too. Anyway, we're gonna get out of here. It's late. We're gonna go. So that was my day at Flynn's. That was a full day of filming. And in the end, I was actually running to try and get as much in as I could. I just ran out of time. But as I say, you go there with an open mind and a couple of trailers, you could come out of there with a parts car, a good body, and make yourself a complete car on the cheap. Anyone after a change in life? You could buy the place and literally just sell cars, just advertise one car at a time. And like I said, the best bit is they're all for sale. Everything you just saw is for sale. That did get pretty long, so if you made it this far, I do appreciate it. We're back on the spanners, wrenching on junk next episode. So anyway, I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.